Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bilfat. His Royal Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa had arrived in the UK leading a high-level delegation to the 26th United Nations Climate Change Conference of the Parties COP26 held in Glasgow, Scotland. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness was welcomed by the representative of Her Majesty the Queen, Ambassador of the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office Richard Osmond and the Ambassador of Bahrain to the UK, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa delivered the Kingdom of Bahrain's speech during the 26th United Nations Climate Change Conference of the Parties COP26. It is my pleasure to welcome His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Bahrain. Your Excellency, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, Your Highnesses, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. For millennia, technological and economic development moved at a steady pace. That is, until the advent of the Industrial Revolution, which set in motion profound changes for mankind, ushering in an era of change made on a previously unimaginable scale. The vast majority of humans alive in the 19th century experienced extreme poverty. Today, the figure stands at less than 10%. 200 years ago, half of children born died before the age of five. Now less than 4% suffer this fate. Our progress also led to the rise of a global order characterized by economic interdependence, which in turn brought stability to many regions of the world. Sadly, these feats, however impressive, came at a price for our planet, and our collective duty is to ensure that they do not cost us the Earth. In doing so, we must harness our productive potential with the same drive that greeted the dawn of the industrial age, marshalling the might and innovation and human ingenuity to propel a greener and more prosperous world. Emissions reductions through investment in renewable energy is certainly a central feature of this approach. But even as we increase renewable energy share of global demand, carbon will remain a fixture of the global energy mix for many years to come. This means that billions of tons of carbon will need to be removed and sequestered each year if we are to arrive at net zero and limit warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. While the Kingdom of Bahrain is responsible for just 0.07% of global emissions, we recognize, not least as an island nation, that climate change is a global challenge that requires global solutions. Developing the kinds of technologies necessary to meaningfully address the climate crisis requires us to both act in concert, but also to lead by example. Today, I am pleased to announce that Bahrain is committed to reaching net zero by 2060 and has set, in, has set a range of ambitious interim goals to ensure that we proceed without delay. By 2035, we will reduce emissions by 30 percent through decarbonization and efficiency initiatives and double our deployment of renewables from the targets we set at COP21. Our 2035 targets also include carbon removal solutions by quadrupling mangrove coverage, doubling tree coverage in Bahrain, and directly investing in carbon capture technologies, which we believe is essential. Forums like COP26 and the recently concluding Middle East Green Initiative serve as vital reminders of our shared interests and common future. We must take advantage of these opportunities to deliver upon the, on the, on the promises we make and have made identifying multilateral solutions that vitally are accessible to all. A future net zero economy capable of propelling humanity to new heights depends entirely on the ability of people to participate in it, both as producers and as consumers. We must therefore ensure that our work to curb emissions moves in lockstep with our work to improve livelihoods. Thank you. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a meeting with the Prime Minister of Israel Naftali Bennett at the 26th UN Climate Change Conference in Glasgow, Scotland. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's commitment to upholding regional peace, development and stability in line with Bahrain's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Crown Prince and Prime Minister noted the importance of building upon the progress made following the signing of the Declaration of Peace and further strengthening strengthening bilateral ties and cooperation. His Royal Highness and Prime Minister Naftali discussed topics of common interest and areas of cooperation, in particular the importance of cooperation between the two countries in preserving the environment and promoting clean energy uses. His Royal Highness outlined Bahrain's comprehensive climate change response, including the Kingdom's intention to achieve net zero emissions by 2060. The Ambassador of Bahrain to the UK, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the President of Sri Lanka, Gotabaya Rajapaksa, at the 26th United Nations Climate Change Conference of the Party's COP26 held in Glasgow, Scotland. His Royal Highness noted the steady growth of cooperation between the two countries across various fields and highlighted the importance of continuing to work on strengthening bilateral ties. During the meeting, issues of common interests, word and ways to strengthen bilateral relations were discussed, as well as the importance of COP26 in overcoming the challenges of climate change. His Royal Highness affirmed Bahrain's commitment to protect the environment and confront climate change through a range of initiatives, including the Kingdom's intention to achieve zero net by 2060. The meeting was also attended by the Ambassador of Bahrain to the UK, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Special Envoy for Climate Affairs and CEO of the Supreme Council for Environment, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Daina. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Secretary of State for Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Affairs for the UK, the Right Honorary Elizabeth Truss at COP26 held in Glasgow, Scotland. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom of Bahrain's long history of strategic cooperation and coordination with the UK. His Royal Highness noted the importance of further advancing Bahraini-UK relations in line with joint agreements that benefit both countries and their peoples. His Royal Highness expressed his best wishes for the success of this year's COP26 hosted by the UK. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's commitment to supporting global efforts to combat climate change and the Kingdom's intention to achieve net zero emissions by 2060. Regional and international issues of common interest were discussed. The meeting was also attended by the Ambassador of Bahrain to the UK, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Special Envoy for Climate Affairs and CEO of the Supreme Council for Environment, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak. Vendana. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the former Prime Minister of the UK and current member of the British Parliament, the Right Honorary Theresa May, on the sidelines of the 26th United Nations Climate Change Conference of the Parties held in Glasgow, Scotland. His Royal Highness highlighted the long standing strategic ties between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom. He discussed a range of key COP26 issues, and in this regard, he highlighted Bahrain's commitment to environmental security and combating climate change including the Kingdom's intention to achieve net zero emissions by 2060. The Ambassador of Bahrain to the UK, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Special Envoy for Climate Affairs and CEO of the Supreme Council for Environment, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Daina, were in attendance. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Bahraini Paralympic Committee is preparing to organize the 2021 Asian Youth Para Games. The event will witness the participation of people with special needs under 20 years old and will kickstart on November the 27th. His Highness affirmed that this event is a major event hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain, which affirms the high status of the Kingdom thanks to the care and support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa that made Bahrain the capital for youth and sports. His Highness also praised the role of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in ensuring the success of these high-profile events held in the Kingdom of Bahrain. 
The Council of Representatives held its weekly session presided over by its Speaker Fauzi Azainal. The session began by reviewing the letter received from His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, on a draft law amending Article 21 of the Court of Cassation Law. The Council discussed and approved the report of the Permanent Special Committee on Women and Children on adding a new article to the Protection from Domestic Violence Law. It discussed the report of the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee on a proposal regarding the establishment of a headquarters for the Quran Learning Center in Adir and Samahij. The session discussed the report of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee on a proposal to open a branch for technical examination in Hamadtown. The Council also discussed and approved the report of the Services Committee regarding a proposal on Temkin's support of employees affiliated with charitable societies. The Council discussed and approved the report of the Public Utilities and Environment Committee on a proposal to change the name of Bahrain. International Airport to King Hamad International Airport, a proposal on rebuilding and developing Citra Central Market, and a proposal on increasing the period of withdrawal of the housing unit for two years instead of six months from the date of the beneficiary receiving the housing. The Council then approved to issue a condemnation of the offensive statements made by the Lebanese Minister of Information, a statement on parliamentary support for the economic recovery plan, and a statement on the occasion of Bahraini. Doctor's Day. <clears throat> The Information and E-Government Authorities organized the Digital Transformation Forum in the presence of 28 Envar government entities. More in this report with Mohamed Youssef. Under the framework of following the government directives to speed up digital transformation, the plans and studies for the digital transformation and government entities for the year 2022 were presented in the Digital Transformation Forum, organized by the Information and E-Government Authority with the participation of several representatives from across the government. We aim from this, uh, these forums to uh, continue the achievements and uh, that happened in the past uh, couple of years after the pandemic. Uh, the transformation doubled in the, in the couple, uh, past couple of years. Uh, every year we used to uh, transform 40 services, it was about 80 services uh, yearly. Uh, um, so we would like to uh, put the plans for the uh, 1,600 services. We have 600 services transformed. Uh, the remaining to put the priorities that uh, matters for the uh, individuals and uh, investors. The meeting comes following the decision of the Cabinet, the Supreme Council for ICT, and the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs to speed up the national efforts in enhancing the comprehensive government digital transformation. Today's meeting is a translation of a Cabinet uh, decision uh, regarding the speed up of digital transformation in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, so we have uh, coordinated with the uh, more than 45 government entities to work all together closely to understand their priorities, uh, their, uh, their uh, expected uh, government services that would be translated into uh, electronic means. 28 government entities participated in the forum with the aim of reaching the desired goals and achieve the aspirations of the government in this regard, following clear plans and strategies. I would like to thank the Information and E-Government um, e uh, Authority for arranging this uh, forum. The importance of the digital transformation is, is now become uh, a necessity for the government of, invest, uh, government of, of Bahrain and uh, around the globe. And I think that uh, the role of uh, Minister of Industry and Commerce to, to take the next uh, level in the uh, digital, digital transformation is... is is will be, uh, let's say, polished and will be enhanced by such forums, by att attending su such forums. The forum included a presentation on improving the e-services of the government, in addition to a presentation on the benefits of digital transformation. The world of technology is changing rapidly, and the Kingdom of Bahrain is able to cope with these changes. That's why the Information and E-Government Authority is holding this event to enhance digital transformation with several government entities. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. 
The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain urges all citizens in the Lebanese Republic to leave immediately following the tense situation there, which calls for extra caution. The ministry reiterates its previous statements to not travel to the Lebanese Republic definitively in order to prevent citizens from being exposed to any risks and to ensure their safety. For assistance, please call the following numbers on the screen. And the National Health Regulatory Authority, the NHRA, approved the emergency use of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine for children in the 5 to 11 years of age group. The decision follows a comprehensive evaluation of the data provided by Pfizer-BioNTech carried out by the NHRA's Clinical Trial Committee and the Ministry of Health's Vaccination Committee. The manufacturer will supply Bahrain with the doses for children in this age group at the beginning of 2022.